the main purpose of the Central Corridor is to monitor, coordinate the movements uh, of uh, transit traffic from the airport up to Lake Victoria, Lake Tanganyika, to Kigali, and up to DRC, and even passing on the other countries of Rwanda and Burundi. The most challenging thing is to, to have a proper infrastructure. The roads, the railways, the ports. We want to see that the East African Economic Bloc can produce their goods, can uh, supply goods to their local market or sell their goods abroad more competitive rate than what it is now. At the moment, you have a lot of uh, a lot of problems when when people try to move goods. You know, uh, uh, you have an importer maybe in in the Congo, in the DRC, Eastern DRC, and he wants to bring his goods via Dar es Salaam port, but he's facing problems uh, in in maybe uh, having to to pay extra storage because someone wasn't able to clear his documents properly. So they 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 need to really really focus hard to to making sure that these small small things are hindering the. Uh, uh, the, the economic growth of the region. So they have to address all this motion, the, the issue of way bridges, the issue of roadblocks. Yeah, there are so many roadblocks in between. When trucks are uh, overweight, they are damages the roads. But what we have seen uh, from Dar es Salaam to Bujumbura, to the border of Burundi, there are nine way bridges. All those nine way bridges are not really necessary. I think so, no. They are not necessary because they can put only two way bridges. One at the loading point, Dar es Salaam, and another one at the exit point. Infrastructure in terms of networks at the borders should be improved. Yeah, where you don't find uh, trucks queuing because there was a network problem that has to be fixed. Overall, the road network in Tanzania for quite some time has been poor. There's been a slight improvement now, but still, uh, it's a huge challenge. We have to track and transport all our products into uh, the, the ports, and uh, you know, by, by road, it's costing us $4,000 per container, for example, compared to 2000 if we had a very functional rail. So rail network is a big problem. The central corridor idea is, uh, is one of the, the best ideas. If we could, if we'd have a proper functional rail, uh, we stopped using the rail a couple of years back uh, in terms of the main supplies. We now have to you know, use by road because of reliability. So the reliability is a big problem. Everywhere you go in the world, rail is the best model of transportation. Actually, the Iceland port is uh, facing a problem of uh, congestion of the containers. So many vessels come in, they shut the box, the containers, and they are stuck in there for almost uh, seven, eight days to nine days. So client comes in the port, he wants his container, he doesn't get in the time when he wants it. It's got a lot of potentials, that port. We are closer to Burundi than Mombasa. We are closer to Rwanda than Mombasa, to the west eastern part of DRC. Zambia, Malawi, all those countries can benefit a lot if their airports gets to the point where it operates the way it should operate. If you take a, a, a truck moving from Kampala down to Mwansa, it's probably a distance of approximately 700 kilometers. It, you probably end up paying more than $100 per ton. Now, by ship, we can do that for the same, for the same from Kampala to Mwansa. We can probably do that around 25 to 30 dollars. To make it easy port as efficient as possible, we need basically new infrastructure. We have expertise, but we need also a more a bigger traffic. Today, we are using it at. 250 per year. It's half of its infrastructure and half of its capacity.
There is a proper plan for our Islam port. I mean, uh, it's growing, it's growing every now and then. And uh, there are some areas which they have already surveyed and they have checked that these are the areas which we need to expand so that our port could be bigger. The success of the Central Corridor is absolutely crucial for the success and prosperity of the people. If you can have an efficient uh, corridor uh, in terms of the main rail, in terms of the red road network, uh, only that way mines will be there, jobs will be created and people's prosperity will be guaranteed. We are now in a new paradigm and our role this time is to move even more faster in there, to give more freedom and do more of monitoring rather than running the institutions. Let people run the institutions, let us do the guiding. The, the, the East African region will become almost a beehive of, 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 of development activities because once the, the infrastructure is unlocked, all these resources, all these economic opportunities that need to be developed in this country, in these countries will definitely be, 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 be up, up for development and this will benefit everybody else.